Hi, I'm here with Stephanie Davis, Manager of Marketing and Communications for the Foundation for Santa Barbara City College. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm so glad that you're here talking about this great nonprofit organization that helps so many people, especially, obviously, students. Yes. And let's just start talking about the history of it. How was it founded and what's the mission? Well, I'll tell you, a great statistic is that the college was founded in 1909, so we are just one year away from the college's 100th anniversary. The foundation was started in 1976, so we're 32 years old, but it came from a group of activists locally who wanted to make sure that this school had the best facilities, the best access to education for the high school students here who come here and want to move on to a better life, better jobs, or another school. That's great. So how many students benefit from the foundation? Uh, Every year. Let's... Gosh, it's almost countless, but a specific statistic is that just with our scholarships alone, around 800 students a year get a scholarship funded by the foundation, and they average about $1,000 a piece, which really helps unburden some of their expenses for living or books or tuition. The material. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know, people think, I mean, the tuition is low. It's been $20 a unit for a couple of semesters, but it's the other. The textbooks can be prohibitive. If you're a single parent returning sco to school, childcare can be prohibitive. So it, that money really can go for a number of things that help them focus on their studies. Now, I know there are a lot of scholarships to choose from. Yes. So tell me about the process of it. How many first do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, again, we have a specialist, Gretchen Hewlett, who knows all about that and we have on our website, uh, sbccfoundation.org, mm -hmm. or through the school, a booklet that says what all the scholarships are. They have been created by people who are passionate about education mm -hmm. and who are passionate about helping people reach their goals. So some of the criterion can be per field of study. President scholarship is GPA driven. Most of them you need a minimum GPA of a certain number, but some are very academically rigorous and you need a 3.5 or above to qualify. Mm -hmm. There's a whole group also more based on need. There are many single parent scholarships, well, again. Well, low income for sure, they all um, can be low income, uh, but I mean, the, you can be rewarded almost by your area of interest certainly your economic situation, and again, the specialties, if you're a single parent. Um, there's even, I mean, philosophy, biology. All the bonuses. There's not, almost nothing <laughs> you wouldn't find to fit your mm -hmm. situation. And again, if you're just, we have the Adopt-A-Student Scholarship, and you meet the person, meet your donor, you get adopted by this donor who sees you through uh, your career here. Those are, I don't want to say generic, but I mean, that's, you don't have to fit into a tight criterion to qualify. Just, I'm a student who has interest in meeting my goals, I have some financial need, and that's all you need. And let's talk about who can apply, or which are the requirements. Yes, now anyone can apply. Every year there's a process, and it is administered through the school. We are the funders, but we don't pick, pick who uh, is awarded. There's a rigorous uh, process through the financial aid office, a group mm -hmm. of teachers, counselors, um, you do need to do an essay, you do need to fill out an application. They're usually due in the first uh, week of March every year. So the student, if they'll just uh, participate by doing the essay and filling out some of the paperwork in May, then they're awarded. Do you need to be registered already? Or? Yes, you do. When you get in, you get your bearings and you see what you want to study. Maybe you know how many units you're carrying. Mm -hmm. So you do need to be registered. Uh, another scholarship go with you as you pursue a four-year degree at another college. So it, it, it can see you all the way through to your next stepping stone. Can you apply to several? And oh yes, several and too? they win several, yes. Oh, so good. they um, you can apply so you for can, many yeah. and, and uh, be awarded more than one. So that's exciting <laughs> to see too. Yeah, definitely. We have a lot of superstars here. We have people who yeah. are qualify for quite a few and, and get, and they get, get them all. That's you know, so good for the students. Right. Really. Access is the big word. Everything. The community college by definition is access to the community. Mm -hmm. The foundation is interested in increasing access to an education also. Now, how can the community help? Is there any way to donate or? We do, I mean, since we are a nonprofit uh, and we take donations gladly all the time, mm -hmm. uh, one group in particular that is sort of our activist group and then they are invited to several events during the year is our President's Council. Mm -hmm. And that's a wonderful organization of people. We'd love to grow that group. Um, it's $1,000 per year to donate, and as I said, you're invited to a couple of events. And then we have theater openings here, arts, we have campus tours. How many people are involved behind scenes? 
We, our staff is 10 people, 10 hardworking people, <laughs> and a, but actually a big, a big, a, a board of 40 people. Our board of directors runs the show, 40 people, uh, men and women who are deeply committed to education, deeply committed to providing opportunity, mm -hmm. deeply committed to making this community college, because this is their community, the best in the state, which I think it is. Do you have any other activities going Several on? other activities. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a large amount of money that we raise. Um, two summer programs that are very exciting are called Running Start and SPARK, which is an acronym for Single Parents Arriving Ready for College. Mm -hmm. We are interested in getting the high school student. Running Start is targeting high school students who have the aptitude to go to college, but maybe don't know how to get started, how to fill out the forms or what it entails, how you do time management. So Running Start is a six-week program in the summer that the foundation funds and really gets the high schooler off and running. And single parents, again, I mean, just a chance. I interrupted my education, now I'd like to come back and pursue my education. Which happens a lot, by the way. Right. Then they have a six-week course mm -hmm. that they come to with their children during the summer and get advice on, ch they get child care provided while they're in these classes of time management and how to register and how to apply for financial aid. Mm -hmm. And then they learn something about parenting too, nutrition classes and there's some field trips where they go with the children. So those are very exciting. Uh, between the semesters, there's a summer session, but great these two programs, complete. yes, and, and just I mean. great results. I mean, it's only the student can make a difference in their own life, but with this help, they can get where they're going. Yeah. So they're highly focused and they're showing up every day, but we're showing them, breaking down those barriers. Oh, registration seems so complicated, like or now I've shown up here, where's the front door? There's a million buildings. It's, we'll show you where admin is, we'll show you where the classrooms are, and it's, it's wonderful to see. Well, thanks for, you know, all that good information. I'm sure a lot of students are going to benefit from this. Yes. And just apply. I think that's... That's right. Apply. Should. I mean, call call us <laughs> or apply. And again, if, you wanna, if you're a donor and you want to set one up, I want to make sure that you talk to a specialist to get that going. But it's very simple and very easy, easy. And we would it's love doable. it. We have as many students who need help as people who want to help them. So there's no, uh, no limit. Good, because this is, again, not only for a student, but for our community. Right. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.spchannels.tv or call 963-3893.